I will never claim to be an expert on artificial intelligence, but as someone with a background in engineering, I've always been interested in scientific advances, and I follow emerging technologies very closely. I've learned to appreciate linear versus nonlinear change, and I know that society can uptake new technologies like AI much more quickly than many policymakers might expect. And we're likely in for a significant disruptive change to the way that we live over the next couple of decades. That's true whether or not AI is integrated into all of the products in the immediate term. Even before AI hit our consciousness with the introduction of large language models like ChatGPT, I've been encouraging my colleagues to think through the implications of AI. AI technologies have amazing potential to supercharge groundbreaking scientific research, power new discoveries, and improve our own productivity. But they also carry very real risks. We are already seeing bad actors use AI voice and image generators to create deceptive and misleading deepfake audio and video clips. Hackers are also using AI systems to generate more effective malware and phishing techniques. And in this upcoming election cycle, AI could be abused to sow misinformation or manipulate the algorithms of social media platforms. I founded the Bipartisan AI Caucus in the Senate back in 2019 with my former colleague Rob Portman. And I have focused on how we can keep the United States at the forefront of responsible AI innovation while maintaining important ethical, safety, and privacy standards. In 2020, Congress passed a version of my bill, the Artificial Intelligence Initiative Act. This legislation established the National AI Research Resource Task Force to develop a detailed roadmap for the development of a national AI resource for AI research. It also established national AI research institutes at universities all across our nation. And I just introduced follow-up legislation in June called the Create AI Act. That bill would provide AI researchers and students with greater access to the complex resources, data, and tools needed to develop safe and trustworthy artificial intelligence. Through my previous role on the Armed Services Committee, I also helped to pass the Artificial Intelligence for the Armed Forces Act to advance the Department of Defense's AI capabilities. And I helped provide the Pentagon with enhanced hiring authorities to recruit more AI professionals and other personnel with computational skills relevant to military applications. These legislative initiatives were a good start, but we obviously need to do much, much more. To maintain our nation's competitive edge and structural advantage, we need to invest federal resources thoughtfully and strategically. We also need to better prepare for the disruptive changes that widespread AI adoption will bring. My colleagues in Congress need to think carefully about how to create an AI landscape that safeguards our private personal data, protects our safety and national security, and delivers AI technologies that will benefit all of us. To do that, we need to get up to speed very quickly. That's why I'm working with Majority Leader Schumer and my Republican colleagues, Mike Rounds and Todd Young, to host a series of member-level briefings with leading tech and policy experts. I have seen in real time the light bulbs go on as my colleagues gain more insights into how these technologies work. We are learning about how AI tools can help us find patterns in data and optimize processes. But we are also seeing that right now, large language models are not designed to deliver factually accurate res results. They're using statistical prediction, not logical reasoning and their models can only be grounded in the information that we input. AI tools can also perpetuate social biases by learning bad practices from our own past data. Garbage in will create garbage out in these tools if we're not careful. Figuring out how to navigate this emerging field and what regulations are necessary will not involve simple binary decisions. This will need to be a continuous process as these technologies evolve. But it's essential that Congress is proactively in the lead on responsible AI development. This is the moment for us to shape the inputs that will deliver us the AI future that we want.